Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Tom Ulrich, and I like to talk about leadership and engineering. Hey, have you worked for a humorless boss? I've certainly worked for a couple that seemed like they were just constantly criticizing for my, my use of humor in meetings and documents and whatnot. But uh, there is a body of research on uh, the impact of humor in organizations, and uh, it's even a fairly recent uh, body of research. So, for instance, Crothers, Wang, and Romero in their 2013 paper, they concluded that humor is actually an important part of organizational behavior. And, you know, their thinking kind of goes like this. When you have humans in a healthy relationship, the humor uh, comes up. And, uh, you know, if you want to have a healthy relationship at work, therefore you're going to need some humor. And uh, I would take that a step further and say, you know, what we're talking about here is people have healthy relationships when there's humor involved. And I've already established in other videos that relationships is a big part of leadership. So it seems to me that humor is actually important in leading uh, in the workplace. Um, there was an interesting study in 2016 by Robert Dunn and Eun. And uh, what they did is they did, conducted a study in Hong Kong and they recruited 70 leaders and 240 people that were worked for them uh, across a variety of organizations. And uh, they came up with some really interesting findings. So the first thing they did is they, they sort of defined what they're looking at and they defined this idea of affiliative or positive humor. And we all know what that is, is, you know, uh, humor that's sort of not attacking, just sort of funny, silly you know, and it doesn't really, there's not any way it could be taken as a put down. Now, in contrast, there's negative or what's sometimes called aggressive humor. And you know what that is. You've been the brunt of humor like that. And, you know, you, you I think intuitively know what positive and negative humor is. So what Robert and his colleagues did is they hypothesized before their study that what they would find is that positive humor has a real positive effect on the organization and that negative humor, well, has a negative effect. And, you know, that seemed to be almost common sense. But they did their study, they carefully analyzed their data, and they found something really surprising. So what they found was that uh, everything depends on the relationship between the boss and the employees. And in situations where the boss and the employees have a good relationship, uh, there actually was no difference between the effect of positive humor and negative humor. It was all humor, and it all kind of uh, added to the experience and sort of lifted up the organization and correlated with positive results, including job satisfaction. But what they also found was when the boss and the employees have a strained relationship, that neither positive humor nor negative humor led to anything positive. In fact, both correlated with very negative things. So here's the big takeaway. If you're um, thinking you've got a bad relationship with your people, and hopefully, you know, if <laughs> step one is to recognize when, that it, when that's the case. If you have a bad relationship with your employees, don't use humor. The positive in humor will be interpreted negatively. The negative humor will be interpreted negatively. Uh, when you've got a strained relationship between supervisor and followers, humor only makes things worse. Conversely, if you have a healthy relationship between the leader and the followers, then positive or negative humor seems to help. Now, I would turn this around a little bit and say, you know, this can give you sort of a healthy diagnostic tool. So... Uh, one thing is leaders tend, and I've talked about this ex extensively in other videos, but, you know, as leaders, we tend to, to fool ourselves. We tend to think we're doing a better job than we really are. So what you can do as a little experiment is if you don't normally use humor is try using some humor and watch the results. If you find that even when it's positive humor, you're not attacking anybody, you're not making fun of anybody, it's just, you know, being funny, uh, being silly without having a, you know, a target or anything like that. If your people react poorly to that, okay, here's the clue phone. That means there's it's time to be working on your relationship, and that probably means you don't have the strong relationship that you thought you did. So I think humor then can be kind of a nice diagnostic thing to help you get a read on um, how you're doing leading your group. Hey, at any rate, hopefully that helps. Uh, I would say use humor. Certainly that's the, uh, the dry humor is the basis of a lot of these videos, but, you know, I just... I'm a silly guy, so good news, humor can be good. 
Um, at any rate, I'm the end, Tom Ulrich. Uh, I'm the engineering leadership guy. You can find my videos. Just search on Dr. Tom Ulrich on YouTube. You can go to TomUlrichConsulting.com. I got some videos there. Hey, and if you don't mind, could you subscribe? Give me a like. Uh, if you want to give me a comment, I'll respond back. Um, you know, you can request a video. And at any rate, uh, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you next time.